in a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest Ankh-Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. next week for my usual special hi <laughs> what's where you going see you soon Get off! Leave me alone! Damnation if you don't clear out, so help me, I'm... I'm... Oh, just bugger off! <coughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. Hands up. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now please, Put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you'll just... <laughs> Oh, bugger. Unseen University. The home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld. And one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumours of a dragon... But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumours of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfil their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? 
Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch-Chancellor wants to see you! A somewhat late introduction, but hello! I'm Shadowhawk 2012 and this is Discworld for the PC. Now I will apologise. Oh, that's better. I will apologise in advance. The sound quality is a bit hit and miss. I've been experimenting a lot with DOSBox. I wasn't actually intending to use this as my first video for this. However, the, the audio quality is so much better than the last couple of attempts. I thought I might as well have a go with this. So this is Rincewind, the most inept wizard ever to grace Unseen University. And he, this entire game is based on Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels. If you have not read any of Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels, you should. If he's, well, he is, if not the best fantasy writer of all time, I think he is, but well, just for the sake of argument, he isn't. He's the best comedic fantasy writer of all time. Now, there's one great thing about this game, and it is simply this. If only I had another dimension, I'd teach you a thing or two. Yep. They've got a Monty Python actor to voice Rincewind. Oh yes. This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob. No it doesn't. Well, let's open it anyway. <laughs> Golden rule of magic. Doesn't work. Kick it. So, in there there is a pouch. It's my money pouch alright. Now if I only had more of the fillings. Right. We can carry a certain number of items. I think it's four at the moment, even though it's only got two there. In order to carry more, we need this. A snoring chest? That's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. Yep, that is the luggage. And since it's... we, I keep hmm. hovering over that, but we'll Unseen go to that Unseen University. Thermaturgy 101. Failed. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. I've got, got, well, I've got a really pointy hat. That's a start. That he does. I really must do some heavy research into this bed. Eight or nine solid hours should be sufficient. I'd agree, but I would say more. Anyway, we've been waiting for this one. Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with, with shapeness. It must be a plot element. Otherwise, there'd be a better label. Indeed. Yes, there is a bit of fourth wall breakage. In fact, there's a fair amount of fourth wall breakage. And I'm not going to get too far into this in this video. I just want to get the luggage because it's one of the quickest things we can do. And means we don't have to worry about it later. Now, this is the Unseen University, the interior. We'll be exploring a bit more of that in a moment, probably in the next video. But for now, we're interested in one room. Not the kitchen, not the dining room, not the library, although we'll be going there next and having an amusing few encounters. We want to go into the closet. Oops. Because in the closet, there is a broom. We shall take the broom. Right, now we head back up. 
This is one of the few times you have to go back up to your room, and it's a bit out of the way, so I'd like to get this done now. Besides which, we always feel safer when we've got the luggage around. Do, do. Now this game is based on, mostly on the Discord novel Guards Guards. It also takes um, certain things from the earlier books. I think Guards Guards is only the 8th or 9th, so it's, this is actually not too much of a Discord I've actually used. However... Yeah, there's plenty of background. Now, we want to use our broom on the luggage. There it is, on thousands of tiny legs. The multi-dimensional storage device. The luggage. It can hold everything. This thing smells of butterscotch. Good grief, what are you keeping in there? Why is it all sticky? Oh wait, I'd rather not know. Indeed. The luggage has a banana and a broom. So, the banana is quite useful, so we shall go down and make use of it, I think. Or do we want to save that encounter? We should really go and see the Arch Chancellor first. Okay, let's save the game here. Uh, okay, until next time.